Today we're taking a look at the second version of the ceramic keycaps from Serakees. The original Serakees keycap project was the most backed keycap project on Kickstarter, but my understanding is that the entire keycap was ceramic, including the MX stem, so there were some issues regards to fitment and tolerance with the various switch stems. The major update on this one is that there is a plastic stem embedded in the ceramic keycap to make the tolerance between the switches and keycaps less critical while maintaining the signature sound and feel of the ceramic keycaps. The way you buy the keycaps from Serakees is a little odd. You can buy a full set which is supposedly comprised of everything you need for the standard layouts from 61 keys up to full size, but you can also buy them as smaller sets. Set A which is the alphas plus a few more keycaps, set B which expands it to TKL, then set C which takes you to full size. You can also buy a few other add-ons. As someone who uses GMK base kits pretty much exclusively, I'm used to having everything I need for all my builds. With the Serakees sets, you don't get 1.5 unit bottom row modifiers, you don't get 7 unit space bars, and it's surprising how many of my builds include one or the other. You also don't get enough 1 unit modifiers to run keys like home, end, page up, page down and delete on the rows you want, so there's not so much flexibility to run your own layout. I ended up settling on my aluminium tofu 2.0 for testing the keycaps as it has a pretty standard layout and I'm part way through tinkering with this one to try and get a fuller sound from a foamless build, which hasn't proved so easy. I will say that installation of the keycaps didn't fill me with confidence and had me thinking it wasn't going to turn out so nice. The fit between the switches and keycaps was pretty inconsistent from keycap to keycap and when getting up close during installation you can see inconsistencies in the finish of them with regards to their shape and how squarely they sit when installed. I'm happy to report that once I had all the keycaps on, any inconsistencies in the look of the individual keycaps blurred into the background and this really nice and artisanal aesthetic comes to the foreground. While the fitment between the switches and keycaps was quite varied and not that confidence inspiring, they were all secure and won't create issues, I just wouldn't move them between boards too often. I really like the sheen of the ceramic keycaps, but I'm really not a fan of this specific colorway. White on a light color like yellow makes no sense to me, especially on ceramic which is going to reflect light. There are several colorways though, and some of them are really nice. As you can see you get some really nice shine through which I wasn't expecting, making them a really nice choice for RGB centred builds. Now let's do a typing test and see how they sound and feel. That was really good. I didn't do the before sound test of how I had this keyboard built out, but the keyboard is in a foamless and top mount configuration with a flex cut PCB and a carbon plate. It sounded really thin before. I changed the switches to Gator on Cream Sodas, which is another variable from my last build, but the ceramic keycaps definitely did a great job of creating a fuller sound profile. In terms of feel, it really is a unique experience, the glassy texture is nice, and the extra weight of the keycaps creates a pronounced bottom out. I prefer heavy switches anyway, but springs on the heavier side seems necessary when running heavier ceramic keycaps. I must say, I really like these keycaps. I don't see them ever being a replacement to GMKs which are my go-to keycaps for most builds, but the Serakees keycaps definitely give a unique typing feel and sound, and I can definitely see them as something to be used on certain special builds, or to create a bit of substance on thinner sounding keyboards. If like me you're several keyboards into your collection, Serakees ceramic keycaps definitely give another interesting option for your builds. And that's it, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.